Thanks to Noom for supporting Yoga Amazing. Kick off your right and get help staying on track to meet your goals with Noom. Noom is designed for results. Meet your resolutions by signing up for your trial today at Noom. That's N-O-O-M dot com slash yoga. You don't have to be a celebrity to have personalized training or your own support team. Your goal specialist is a behavior change professional, nutrition expert, and fitness trainer all in one. My coaches really helped me with tweaking my diet and also my workout routine to get me the results that I want. And you know what I like most about Noom? It's with me everywhere I go. So what do you have to lose? Visit Noom.com slash yoga to start your trial today. Welcome everyone to this episode of Yoga Amazing. I am Chaz, I'm your host, and welcome back. And welcome to the new Yoga Amazing space. There's been an update to the look and feel of the the yoga series, so I hope that you like it. And uh, this class, I've had a lot of people reach out to me about, Chaz, when I get up in the morning, my, my body's really achy and creaky. Can we do a series of poses in the morning that will just help me to get on with my day and to, when I get out of bed, I can just really stretch a little bit so that I can wake up my body and my mind. So that's what we're gonna focus on today is just a nice morning stretch yoga routine. If you have an idea for a class, please send it to me at chaz at yogamazing.com. Don't forget, you can find me on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter and send me your story ideas. If you're looking for past episodes, please go to yogamazing.com. So remember to breathe, relax, and have fun. In this edition of Yoga Amazing. From here, let's bring it into child's pose. Remember to open up your knees and stretch it out, dropping your forehead to the floor. Remember to breathe deeply. Remember, take big inhales, big exhales, hollowing out the throat, expanding the chest and lungs. And remember, as the class is uh, easy or if it's hard, your breath is consistent like a cascading waterfall. So just stay here and breathe and focus on your breathing for a few moments and we'll start the class. From here, let's bring it to our hands and knees and we're gonna do the cat and cow pose. So from here, shoulders over the rings, under the rings of the wrist, and we're gonna inhale, looking up, shoulder blades down. And as you exhale, round, tuck and squeeze. Inhale, looking up, nice and slow. And then round, tuck and squeeze and just find your own breath, move with your breath, flowing through the pose, nice and slow. take it back into down dog. Remember, if it's in the morning, your body's gonna be more than likely tight. So just bend your knees slightly. Remember, we're we're trying to make an upside down V, not a soft end like this. Bend your knees, push back, then work on getting your heels to the floor. No rush down, let your body warm up. And then from here, you're gonna bring the right foot forward into a lunge, and you're just gonna root it in right here. Stay here and breathe. And then take it back to a down dog just for a brief moment, and then we're gonna bring the other leg forward. Again, dropping the knee down, placing the hands on the other leg, and really rooting in so you can get a nice little hip open right here. And then 
and then take it back to a down dog. And then walk your feet in, and then you're gonna bring it up to a standing pose. So you're gonna bring your legs to here, open it up, and we're gonna be doing our warrior series, standing poses here. So we're gonna take the foot out. Remember, when you're doing the warrior one, hips are forward. So you wanna bring the arms up, big inhale, and then as you exhale, bending the front leg, and then rooting back into that, that back heel so that it does not come up off the floor. Squaring the hips up, fingertips up, gaze forward, deep in the breath. opening up into a warrior two. Now remember warrior two, hips and chest are towards me. Bringing your arms up, no, not leaning forward, not leaning back, centered, that's present. Bring it in the pose, shoulder blades down, lengthen, breathe. Arm to the leg and then do the extended side angle. Breathe. And then slowly release, bring it up. And then we're going to rotate to the other side. So, warrior one, and again, hips and chest forward. Bringing the arms up, inhale, and as you exhale, bending the front leg, rooting into the back leg, squaring the hips up, shoulder blades down, gaze forward deep in the breath. Opening into Warrior Two. And extended side angle. Walk your feet in <clears throat> and bring it into Tadasana Mountain Pose. Close your eyes, take a few breaths here. And then open your eyes. We're going to bring it into tree pose. So you're going to bring the leg up to the inner thigh. If you need to do a kickstand pose version of this, that's fine too. If you want to hold on to something, that's fine too. Remember, you want to do the pose without falling out of it consistently. You want to quiet the mind. So do whatever you need to do to get there. So bring the leg up, roll that hip open, set your gaze forward deep in the breath. and then slowly release. Rotate to the other side. Bring it up, firming up the leg you're standing on, rolling that hip open, hands to the chest, self gaze, deep breath. And release. 
From here, we're just gonna take it straight down into a squat pose. So open up your feet and you're just gonna take it down. Now some people will probably come up on their toes. They may not be uh, open enough in the legs, but take it down as best as you can. Stick out your bottom and then sit into the pose. Bring your hands together. Push your arms into your legs and legs into your arm. Deep in the breath. and then slowly release. And we're going to come to our knees for the camel pose. So keep your hands on your hips. Big inhale. And as you exhale, bring the hips forward, drop the head back. Stretch it into a child's pose. And then from here, we're going to do a nice twisting pose here. So we're going to just take a great big inhale. Exhale, twist, looking over the shoulder. And then release. And then we rotate to the other side. We're going to twist it the other way. Big inhale. And as you exhale, twist over the other shoulder. And the big inhales, big exhales, slow movement. Twisting poses are good because it's like when you twist and release, you're at bringing a new blood flow into your spine. So it's kind of like you're getting an oil change for your spine every time you do a twisting pose. So it's very beneficial, especially if you're waking up in the morning. And then slowly release, <clears throat> bring it back to the center. I want you to close your eyes, roll the shoulder blades down, sitting up nice and straight, palms up. <clears throat> and I want you just to take these next few moments, breathe and relax, and take it easy because you probably got a busy day in front of you, or you could be unwinding for the night. Take these next few moments and just relax. Take the peace and the strength and share it. Namaste.